If you are building a redstone ALU, you have to implement these gates. Because these gates are so powerful, they are the foundation to each of their perspective architecture. The two essential binary gates are the NOT gate and the OR gate. Now you might be thinking to yourself, wouldn't it be another gate like the NAND gate or the NOR gate? Well, yes and no. While the NAND gate and the NOR gate can be used to recreate the other logic gates, let's look at how they're made. If we break each gate down to their most basic components, we can see that the NOR gate just uses an OR gate with a NOT gate, and that the NAND gate uses two NOT gates and an OR gate. So, every binary logic gate is just a combination of OR gates and NOT gates. Why am I rattling about gates you probably already know about? Because it's good to learn how things are built, so that way we can optimize them when we are building our computers. Good case in point, Let's take another look at the NAND gate. One way to build a NAND gate is like this, by having an AND gate with a NOT gate at the end. Well, this works and would be completely functional. But if we look back at what a NAND gate is actually comprised of, we can see that we are wasting a couple of ticks by having these two NOT gates right here. Now that we know about this, it's up to us to decide whether or not we should remove it. If we decide to remove it, we successfully create a one tick NAND gate. Now if we decide to keep it this way, we can adjust the build a little bit to allow us to toggle between an AND gate and a NAND gate. However, this NAND gate takes three ticks to calculate instead of just one. Now note that this doesn't cover specialized components. For example, we cannot make this XOR gate any faster if we look at what makes up an XOR gate. The reason is, is because we've sacrificed and optimized this gate for size and speed instead of functionality. So if we were to build an XOR gate using traditional gates, well that would just be more or less using two NAND gates, two to three NAND gates. So that would take a, around two ticks at the very least. Whereas this XOR gate is specialized to complete the task in one tick. So I'd like to encourage you to take some time to see how your components are built. Not only will it allow you to become more familiar with your ALU and how it works, but it could also allow you to save a couple of seconds, which in Redstone, every second counts. While binary has two main logic gates, hex only has one, the NOT gate. So the NOT gate is an essential gate for both binary and hexadecimal. For those of you who are new to the channel, a hex NOT gate is built like this. The mathematical formula for a hex NOT gate is 15 minus your input. Now this might raise a flag for you, but let me explain. So let's take the NOT of 7. In hex, we have 15 minus 7, which is equal to 8. So now let's take the number 7 and convert it to binary. We now have 0, 1, 1, 1. If we not those, then each 0 becomes a 1, and each 1 becomes a 0. If we look, we now have 8 represented in binary. So this NOT gate works like any 4-bit binary NOT gate because their formulas match. With the NOT gate, not much is impossible. You can derive this gate with two inputs being subtracted from 15. If we not that circuit, we have successfully created an addition circuit. Using this add circuit, we can do addition, subtraction, multiplication, squaring, graphing, you name it. It's all from a combination of add and not gates, which as we just learned is actually just a bunch of not gates. With that being said, a new question arises. Can we create binary logic gates with hex? Well, that depends on certain parameters. As of the time of this video being published, which is... January 8th, 2021, the technology has not been developed for us to be able to recreate true binary logic gates in a hexadecimal architecture to the best of my knowledge. Now, if we treat hex as its own analog system and not as binary, then the answer is yes. If you want to learn how to build those circuits, then click on this video and I'll see you in the next one.